How's it everyone? This is Local Hall, and in today's video we're going to be crafting an amulet for Subtractum's build. So if you didn't see the last one, check it out. We crafted a pair of gloves and a pair of boots, but today we're going to be crafting an amulet, a ring, and maybe also a shield if there is time. So the mods on this amulet that we are looking for is going to be plus one level of all skill gems. I bought this fractured for about 20 divines, which is what it would cost if you were to try and do it yourself. Actually, probably a bit less because you'd have to buy the bases with the plus one all. And then we want plus one level of all physical spell skill gems, as well as life and critical strike multiplier. So how are we going to get this? There's a few ways you can do this. There's an easy way and there's a hard way. If you want to do it the easy way, you can get plus one fizz by just spamming jagged fossils or maybe reforge fizz with harvest. However, I want very good crit multi. So what we are going to do is we are going to spam these Essence of Scorn, which guarantees us tier zero crit multi. So we're going to do that until we get tier one maximum life and then then the pain is going to begin. So let's see how long it takes to get. I think it's a one in 50 or something like that to hit the two on life. But there's going to be a lot of annulling in between. So I need to buy annuls. I just realized. Tier three. Oh, there's tier one. Now we have found ourselves in our first painful position which is that we have to go for an annul. So we have to annul that fire damage to attacks, which we did. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. So now what we need to do is to go and do this. So we're going to go three crafts of modifiers, which costs two divines, which apparently we don't have, but they're sitting right over here. And then we're going to go three crafts of mods. We're going to go prefixes cannot be changed. And we are going to do this. Go over to the stash, grab these, and we're going to add a physical modifier and remove a random modifier. So this is going to annul a mod. We're obviously hoping that it removes one of those crafted mods. Our life at least is safe, but our crit multi is in peril. It's a two out of three. Please give it to us. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh. Uh... Okay, stupid moment. I messed up the, the suffixes. You meant to go multi-mod, cannot roll, attack mod. So you can see here, I hit freaking fizz damage to attacks. Luckily, it annulled off the crit multi, so we didn't, we didn't end up with almost what we needed. Big dirt moment. Everyone makes mistakes. It's okay. Maximum life. We try again. Cut this part out the video. Big derp. Big derp moment. Happens to the best of us. But we don't give up. So here's tier two life. I think I'm gonna try and all the mana. We failed. Okay, we keep going. Tier three life, no. Why do I feel like we missed our one shot? <laughs> this is gonna be pain from now on because we messed up. Oh no. Oh. We'll see. All right, no, that's not good. Ah, tier two life. Okay, but we need to annul some stuff off. So that, do we want to keep fire resistance? It's actually, you know what? It's actually not a bad thing to keep. It's not too bad. And it gives us another potential target for our our orb for not too much. So we're going to go cannot roll attack mods. This is what I should have done the first time. Cannot roll attack mods. And then we're going to go add physical. All right. Please don't remove the life for the crit. You didn't. Oh, good job. Hey, okay. We got the plus one old fizz. We have crit multi, we have life tier two, could be worse, could be better, and a little bit of resistance. If you want to go all in on this, of course, you could just keep spamming it till you hit that tier one life, but I'm pretty happy with this. Also has an open suffix at the end, so let's see. We can do some dexterity. This build is a bit dexterity starved, and we need it. So here is this. Let's give it a quick little price check while we're here, and then we'll move on to the next item. So we have 70 life. 
we have crit multi, we have all and all fizz, and a bit of resistance. So let's see, there's two, 35 divine and 79 divine. This eh, definitely did not cost 35 divines. So I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty decent outcome. Could be better, but we are, uh, we're slowly, we're slowly burning all of our money. And uh, I've already spent more than a, than a divine on this. So next up, what's it going to be? It's going to be a ring, a ring. And what do we want on our ring? We want crit multi, which comes from Deafening Essence of Scorn, and then Dexterity or Car Speed or maybe another Resistance or something. It's the kind of thing I should pop all the gear on the builds and then see what I need, but I'm not going to do that. So we're going to try to get Car Speed and Dexterity. Resistances uh, could be good, but we definitely want Car Speed. So this Deafening Essence of Scorn is going to guarantee us Critical Strike Multiplier. We don't need any influence stuff. So here we have dexterity. Interesting, but not good enough. Dexterity, crit multi. There's tier two car speed with fire res. Can we annul off the fire res? No, we cannot. We definitely cannot. Tier 1 Dexterity. This might be worth trying to not. Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to try and all the recoup and then save it. Tier 3 car speed. We don't want that. Ah, tier 1 car speed. However, no Dexterity and a bad third suffix. I'm going to go for the Anol. I'm going to fail at the Anol and then keep going. So if we do hit the tier one decks with the ooh, tier three, no, unacceptable. If we do hit the tier one decks with an open suffix, we can actually force the car speed. So yeah, maybe going for car speed is a bit greedy because we are a bit attribute starved. So here is tier three dexterity. Tier 2 Dexterity, this might be worth saving. And, alright. So, mm, do we want to go in on a Tier 2 Dex? Maybe, actually. So what we can do now is lock suffixes. And we're not going to be using the new beast because we have an open suffix. So we could get one of the other Metacrofts. So, two Divines. Eh. But it's okay. We go over to the Horde Crafting Station and we're going to reforge Caster. We do have blue stuff. Don't lie to me. Reforge Caster. So even though this has suffixes cannot be changed, it doesn't prevent modifiers from being added. The only Caster tag modifier on rings, at least uninfluenced rings, is cast speed. So hopefully we can hit tier 1 cast speed. We hit tier 2. This is actually not too bad. I think for now, this is something worth sticking with. Like I said, we're moderately, uh, the currency is dwindling and we still do have to make a couple more pieces of gear. So I'm going to stick with the tier two. Now for the prefixes, we're going to head over to the menagerie. And now we are going to use the new beastie. So this, if you didn't see the last video, is a wild bristle matron. It adds a crafted meta modifier to the unique item. The only meta craft prefix is suffixes cannot be changed so we're going to use that and it's one divine so use that okay suffixes cannot be changed now because because these suffixes are not perfect and beautiful i think it's worth risking veiled chaos instead of going for the ashling so we do that and all right we did hit another prefix that's okay we still have another open one and we're going to block mana Mana, you don't have to block the fancy one, just block mana. Now, yeah, so fire and cold or fire and lightning or life. Huh, again, I think we go for fire and cold and then just bench on life. So it's not that much of a difference between the crafted and the, the bench one. But yeah, here we go. And we're going to do this and go over here, put on life. And our little ring is done. It's very beautiful. 
I don't think there's going to be any quite like this, but we can check cast speed, dexterity, and crit multi. There's three. Let's check the trade side. Ah, this person started with a fracture. Our one, however, our one has a synthesized implicit, so we can't get a fracture on it. These are weirdly expensive and kind of not quite finished, but yeah. That didn't cost too much to make, quite a few scorns and then a lock, but yeah, not too bad. Our other ring is going to be Original Sin. So, we have most of our gear. This 5 Divines is left over for the Lab Runner, who is still running to enchant my helmet. Now, do we have time? Yeah, I think we do. So, the last item we need to make is going to be a shield. Now, this is a plus one power charges shield. If you don't have the plus one power charges, what we're about to make now is probably something very cheap on the trade site because ROG spits out very nice shields constantly. However, because of this implicit, we are unable to get a cheap ROG shield. Now, the modifiers we're looking for on this are going to be suppression, maybe spell crit, life, maybe resistances and stuff. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a pure energy shield base, which would allow us to hit plus one level of all physical spell skill gems. There were a few, but they were 90 exalts, 90 divines, and I, I didn't have that much. So I got this base for five divines, and there's a couple of ways we can approach this. We can spam Essence of Scorn for the guaranteed crit chance of spells, or we can spam Essence of Greed for the guaranteed life, or we can spam something else and try and get suppression. But I think for now, we're gonna spam Essence of Scorn since we have literally hundreds. And we're gonna try and hit some spell suppression. So as you can see, Scorn guaranteeing that tier zero or tier one crit chance of spells. And again, this is item level 85, which is what is required to hit that tier one spell suppression. Also, chance to avoid elemental elements. Do we need that? Subtract him. Help. Where are you? I wish he was online and I could ask. Are we uh, are we elemental avoidance capped? I don't know. We'll find out. Generally, I do not recommend crafting all your gear before you play the build because what's probably going to happen i'm going to equip half this stuff realize that like i need more dexterity or more resistances and have to remake some of it but you know that's okay aha tier four spell suppression that is pretty bad oh this is very nice suffixes but not good enough not good enough Tier two, ooh, ooh, okay. This, this is worth keeping. All res suppression, crit chance spells, very nice. However, now the question is our prefixes. What do we want? Obviously we want lots of life. Now there is one way to get it, which is kind of lock suffixes, reforge life, but the chance to hit this is pretty low. So you can see, yep, the total weight is 14,000. So it's a one in 14 to hit tier one life. That's a bit gross. We can use the bench to craft on some life. However, maybe what we can do is see if there's a good unveil that we could go with. So, eh, damage to, yeah, cold damage, lightning damage. Cold is extra chaos. Fire is extra chaos. Lightning or fizz is extra chaos. None of which can be unveiled. So basically we can unveil damage or soul gain prevention. Okay, that's pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> so we have three more Wild Bristle Matrons. Let's go to the Menagerie and do some Reforged Life. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Maybe we get lucky. So, yep, suffixes are full. So we use our little Wild Bristle Matron. Maybe we can hit two on life. But what's more likely, we fill our suffixes. Fill our prefixes and be sad. Head over here to our little hoarder crafting station and reforge life. Light, please. Just give us, just give us T1 life on the first try, right? Yeah, Chris, please. Yeah, like that. Pog champ. 
<laughs> that was so unethical. All right, well, we got out here on life. I think what we can do now is just go to the crafting bench and craft on some more damage because damage is good. So we'll do this. And then do we want to slam it or do we want to leave an open prefix for later? I think, I think what we want to do is slam it just in case we hit some more life or something like that. So I think what we want to do is block mana. Yeah, let's block mana. We don't want to hit mana. Mana equals bad. Let's quickly slam uh, more life. All right, tier four evasion rating and energy shield. And then we finish it off with a bit more life. Oh no, we have life and we finish it off with a bit more damage. Close enough. So here's our shield. We have tier two spell <laughs> tier two spell suppression, tier two all res, and that nice crit chance. And then amazingly, we hit the tier one life on the first attempt. So let's give this guy a price check. I highly doubt there's going to be anything quite like this, or there will be, and it's going to be extremely cheap. So yeah, nothing quite like it. What if we pop off that? So let's look at the trade site. So yeah, this. Eh, not quite the same. Here's 70 chaos, two divines, four divines, unfinished. This is a very kind of niche item, so it's not the kind of thing people are going to be crafting a lot, but I'm pretty happy with it. So that is the last item for this build. Here's everything beautiful. We're still waiting on our helmet, but other than that, everything is there. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to link Subtractum's build in the description below. I'm also going to leave it as a pinned comment. So if you want to check out this build, which I'm about to play, go click there and show subtract some, some support and I will catch you in the next video. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.